Aloha. My name is Larry Rivera. I'm born and raised here on Kauai, six generations. I have six children, 17 grandchildren, and 14 great grand, and their names are, but it's too long if I tell you. You have to come to my show. I had no idea I was gonna be an entertainer or a composer or recording artist. I'm um, coming down Waimea Canyon, riding a, ja a donkey, and, uh, <clears throat> You know, and it went. Dun, dun. So I said, riding, riding along, riding, riding along. I'm riding, just keeping on a going along. I'm heading for the lonely land, for to see my girl. That's the first time I ever wrote a song. And it's a great song, like a, the horse, you know, and in the end of the song. And <laughs> anyway, then uh, seven years later, I got married and I was working at Coco Palms by that time. Uh, I did the show with a whole group of performers, the cook, the chef, the uh, bartender, the bellhops, the waitresses and the waiters. We all got together and we did a Hawaiian show uh, without no microphones or anything. And my job was to sing Love and Aloha. I created the saying Love and Aloha way in the early 50s. I said, Larry, why would you say Love and Aloha? It means the same. I said, but it flows, it's beautiful. So I changed the song, the Lurleen song, to Love and Aloha, which I sang by Elvis and it went. sitting in the crowd with 14 people right in the front of me in the dining room right here at Coco Palm and his mouth dropped and when I got through with the song he stood up and all of them stood up and he, this is how he clapped yeah 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 he didn't say you know yeah yeah and he wouldn't let me off stage three songs in a row so the MC had to come to me and say everybody if you want to join Larry, he'll be in the cocktail lounge after this show. Uh, and it's called The Nightcap with Larry, but the drinks are on you. So that's how that show started. It's the longest running show in Hawaii. I'm still doing it. 60 years. I worked here one year with the Hills. Then I was drafted in the army uh, during the Korean War. I entered a talent contest and won first place for the whole islands of Hawaii, all the army installations. And I had Josiah Pua and Ernie Shea. I played the guitar, piano, and a bass. And we were called the Beach Boys. So it was in the front page of the Honolulu Star Bulls. I still have it documented that we were the Beach Boys before anybody else. <laughs> when I came back, I met Mr. Gus Lander, who owned this place. I told him that I'm going back to Kauai and I'm getting married and I want my job. He said, go back there and tell him I sent you. And I've been here ever since. And this was 1954, the second time I came back. So that's what I started, a busboy, a waiter. And that's when I was washing dishes and I wrote, I search for love. I search for love. All And then Elvis heard that. He was crazy over that song. He says, Larry, he came into the bar, I sat down with my wife, Gloria, and he said, I want to buy that song. He and Patty Page sang background vocals. Uh, I search for love. And he said, I search for love. You know, he wobbled the voice. And I buy it for $500. So I said, well, I don't know how to copyright a song or sell a song. He said, my a &R man, Mr. Tom Diskin, will help you tomorrow. Elvis was polite, 
soft-spoken but very humorous, and we had a lot of fun together. Just lately, I wrote Charlie's song. Charlie is an old-time worker here. He lives in Anahola, and he makes fishing nets. So I wrote that song for him. Charlie's song is a song we can sing along. In Moloa, they all know his name. Hands so rough and strong, yet so gentle. He will weave a fishing net for you and me. And it goes on all about Charlie. And uh, so he's alive and well. He comes to my shows with his nets. Kamalani, which means child of heaven. Mrs. Guslander is here. She called me at home. This is 40 something years ago. Larry, write a song about a frog. I go, frog? And you know, she was a blonde, blue eyed, uh, humble person, but she carried a big stick. And when she says something, you better do it. So I said, yes, Mrs. Guslander. I hung up the phone at that instant out my window at home. A bird. And I said, that's a nice melody. So I went to the legend that was in every room in the frog's room, written by Miliana Sung, Mrs. Sheldon's sister who worked here. And she wrote the legend of the frog. And it tells about a handsome young prince who lived in Pihana Kalani. That's where I live, but I'm not a handsome young prince. Pihana Kalani means the fullness of heaven. He came down to Kokopam, fell in love with the granddaughter of the high chief, and her name was Kamalani, child of heaven. So grandma said, you better be home before the sun sets or you're going to be transformed into a frog. He didn't make it. Never underestimate the power of a woman. So he was transformed into a frog, and he sang late hours of the night here, which I did. Here's the scary part. The frog has a birthmark in the center of his forehead, like I have. It's in the legend. I didn't put this here, I didn't write the legend. I have eight CDs, and I also have Christmas on Kauai. Uh, you can see me at four places. My main one is at Cafe Portofino every Wednesday, 7 to 9. You gotta come in early because it's packed. And my daughter, Lurleen, is an accomplished musician and composer and entertainer, and she's with me there. Another place to come is at the Plantation Marketplace, where Leilani and Daryl Lowe has opened a beautiful cultural center. Come there, and we'll have fun playing ukulele from 3 to 4. And then I do uh, the Kauai Museum every Saturday, 1 to 2. Then I do first Fridays of the month at Kukui Grove Shopping Center. I do that not for the money, because a lot of the locals cannot afford to go to these big hotels and spend. They cannot bring their whole family. So at Kukui Grove, they see my whole show, me, Elima, and my granddaughter, and, and Richard Beach, and um, it's a great uh, first Fridays of the month. Of course, I do weddings at Coco Palms. I do the Elvis Presley Blue Hawaii. We just had one the other day. It's a whole nine yards from the canoe paddlers to the concha blowers to the arch bearers, the music, the minister, photographer, video, everything is in that package. Just call me, I'm in the phone book, Uncle Larry. We are blessed with all God's graces. Whenever you leave Kauai, you carry aloha within you and share it wherever you go. Aloha cannot be bought or sold. Aloha has to come within you.